Pastor Tamiko? Not to say anything. Okay, we're hearing you now. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Praise the Lord. We're going to go into prayer right now. And welcome all to Sacred Tabernacle this morning. Praise God for everyone that's present and everyone that will be um, logging on in Jesus' name. Father God, we come to you thanking you for this day, for this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Father God, we honor you this morning. We thank you for giving us life, health, and strength. We thank you for breathing into our nostrils this morning. We thank you, Father God, for everyone that's traveling, safe travels, Father God, but they are still able to join us this morning in service, oh God. Father God, we praise you. We love you. And we ask that you just have your way in service today. Holy Ghost Spirit, manifest yourself supernaturally like never before. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sacred Tabernacle this morning. Hallelujah. We, we thank you all for attending with us this morning in the name of Jesus. And we pray and hope that everyone had a blessed week and everyone will be blessed this morning with um, the word going forward. I am Pastor Tamiko Holmes, and I just thank you all for being attentive. And my pastor, my bishop, my overseer is Pastor Cynthia Jackson, and we thank God for her this morning also in the name of Jesus and her family. And we thank God for Evangelist Green and her family in Jesus' name. So we're going to go forward with the word this morning and let God have his way. Amen. Amen. And God gave me this word is God is going to manifest. But do you believe? And we're going to start with Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are called according to his purpose. I'm going to say it again. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are called according to his purpose. We, God already know who is called. He already know who his people are, his children are. He knew it before he found um, foundation of the world. He knew it before Adam and Eve. He knew it. He knew what Adam was going to do, he knew what Eve was going to do. He even knew what the snake was going to do in the garden. So it was already set in place. So we're going to see what all God is going to manifest. But we got to believe. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you. Jesus Christ came and manifested himself. He was manifested as the Lord and Savior. He was made into the image of God. I'm driving and I'm trying to read at the same time. So please bear with me, please. Jesus Christ came, was born in the image of God. He spoke things into existence. The wind and the way. He told the wind, he rebuked the wind. And he told the um, way, he told the, um, he told the ways to obey, the wind to cease, peace be still. And there was a great calm. So it's what we speak and what we believe. We can do the same as Jesus Christ. Mark 22 through 35. One of the rulers of the synagogue, which was Darius, saw Jesus and fell at his feet, saying, my daughter is near death. And he asked Jesus, will he come and heal her? And um, heal her, lay hands on her, so that she won't die. And Jesus left, he left with Darius. He started walking with Jerry. 
then Jesus got interrupted. There was a big old crowd. But then that came the woman with the issue of blood. She said, if I could just reach out and touch the hem of his garment, I would be made whole. And that's what she did. She reached out by faith. She believed in her heart that she would be made whole. And she touched Jesus' garment. And Jesus felt, he felt her hands. He felt when something just went out of his body. His strength just left his body. And he said, who touched me? And everyone around him was like, they didn't know. Didn't nobody touch him. It's a big crowd. That's what the disciples said. But finally, he saw the woman trembling, and she confessed that she was the one who touched him. And he told her, he told her, daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy flag. And we have some flags. That was just her plan of being ill for 12 years with the issue of blood. But some of us have some flags that we need to get rid of, like bitterness, lying, stealing, cheating. We need to get rid of, we need to reach out and touch the hem of Jesus Christ's garment so we can be made whole. We need to believe that he can make us whole this day. We want to be made whole. So we won't be set in that plaid for no more years, 30 years, 40 years, any longer. The generational curses that we instead of doing and we instead of praying about it, but we're still walking in it. Instead of walking my faith and not by sight, believing that we are made whole that Jesus Christ can manifest and supernaturally do it within a second. We need to get rid of the flag. This day, Jesus Christ has the doors open. He continued to walk with Jairus. And as they came up to Jairus' house, someone came out and said, the, um, why trouble the master? Thy daughter is dead. But she wasn't dead. Jesus told Jerry. He said, don't be afraid. Only believe. Believe. He spoke to the depths of saying, Talitha Kuma, I say to thee, arise. And she arose and walked. It's all in the power of your tongue. It's all in the power of my tongue that you will see the manifestation of God. Whatever we speak, that's what's going to happen. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Proverbs 18, 21. What are you speaking? Your children out there doing things that they aren't supposed to be doing. You raised them one way, but they out there doing another. Are you going to sit on your porch with your neighbors and say, that child ain't going to never learn, that child ain't going to never be nothing? Are you going to say, I remember what the word of God said. God raised them up this way. They're going to leave out and come back. They're going to remember the word of God. We got to speak life into our children's lives, life into our grandchildren's lives, life into those out there that we're ministering to, life. Stop speaking death. There's spiritual death and there's physical death. We want life. We want Jesus Christ to manifest his word, the Holy Spirit, who he left back here to help us. That's who we want to manifest his word. We want the manifestation of God to, so we can see it. So when we see it, we know that we believed in our heart that it was done. 
when we pray, even if we have to pray, pray, pray a whole year to see the manifestation of God, we do that. Walk by faith and not by sight. Walk, speak it into existence. Speak it. We don't have to sit back, keep crying about this is not happening, this is not working. It's going to work according to your faith and according to you believing. God wants you to believe. He wants me to believe. If I kept sitting around saying, oh, but his stripes are healed, but then <clears throat> I wasn't seeing anything being manifested, even though my body is going through pain and I'm walking and I'm still in pain, but guess what? I'm not allowing people to see the pain because when I was walking in pain, they could see that I was in pain. Now that I'm walking, I'm not allowing them to see the pain because God is healing my body. He said, with your, his stripes, I am healed. And I believe that. His stripes, not with Tamiko's stripes, because Tamiko wasn't the one who was out there on the cross, but Jesus Christ was. I couldn't have took the pain and the torture that Jesus Christ did, but he did it for us all. He took it all, and he just want us to believe. He just want us to believe because it's already done. But when are we going to start believing? Even for your marriage, yeah, it's rocky. Yeah, the divorce paper, papers are almost final. But God, if this tr marriage is truly based off God, God will turn that situation around. Even before the judge stamped the papers. God will turn it around. We have to walk by faith and not by sight. Are you believing today that that job promotion is yours? Are you believing today that that eviction could be turned around? Are you believing today that your family members going to come off drugs, out of prostitution, out of the craziness. Are you believing today by faith? We got to walk by faith and not by sight. Are you believing today that God can change what's going on in the White House, that God can change what's going on in Jerusalem? God said Jerusalem is his people. We are supposed to be praying for Jerusalem and Israel. Are you going to believe that it's done? It is done. I believe it. I walk by faith and not by sight. Even though I see destruction, my Lord, God is so good and he is so awesome. There is nothing too hard for God. Nothing. When I say God will manifest, he will do it. He has something good for us today. There's nothing too hard for God. Nothing. As he taught Mary and Martha, he taught Martha to believe. Even though Lazarus was gone for four days, he was there for four days. Only believe. And we got to believe, sisters and brothers. We got to believe the word of God. Not what people come and say, this ain't going to work. All oh, that will never happen. And you got to be careful who you pray with. You got to be careful who you go to about your situation. You got to be careful. Because I'm not putting down people or anything, but some people is not for you. They're more against you than they are for you. But if God is for us, who can be against us? 
But God wants us to use wisdom and be careful of who we take our prayers to, who we go and talk to about what we're praying, about what we're going through. Because things could start looking good for us, and then you'll be like, what happened? This was just been the manifest, and guess what? Someone can speak against your prayers. Pray against your prayers. So be careful in Jesus' name. Amen. Father God, we come to you, and we thank you for this word today. We thank you for manifesting yourself today in the name of Jesus, and we ask that you move mightily in people's hearts and in their homes, Lord. You know our hearts and our minds, Father God. You know what we need, Father God. So have your way, Lord. Manifest yourself today, Father God. You already know. In Jesus' name, amen. If you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please repeat after me. Father God, I confess my sins to you, and I repent. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I ask you to come into my heart and live in me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.